In this video I'm going to quickly go over how to set up a Skywalker 2013 for mapping. There's plenty of room in the fuselage. I mount the APM 2.5 underneath the wing in the compartment there along with my receiver. What I suggest is figure out what camera you're going to use or a set of cameras you intend to use along with batteries. Place everything inside the fuselage and get your CG correct. I currently use 98 millimeters from the leading edge. Once you have all of your gear inside, including your ESC, receivers, APM, telemetry radios, GPS, everything else that you would use, then set your CG with your rings attached. Mark out where your camera hole should be and use a two inch drill bit to drill a hole. You can place a piece of clear acrylic over the hole while you're learning in order to protect the camera lens. I build quarter inch plywood mounts and use Velcro straps as well as Velcro underneath so I can quickly install and remove the cameras in the field. I use a custom made USB trigger which allows me to initiate an intervalometer script from a switch on my RC transmitter. This USB cable is connected to my RC receiver. I'll have a separate video on how to build that. The Skywalker 2013 has plenty of room for batteries and gear. It's just a matter of shifting your gear into a location that allows you to have proper center of gravity. I also build small plywood rails underneath to lift the rear edge of the camera opening from the ground so dirt doesn't get injected in that area. You can cut zip ties to fit the plywood rails. This allows it to easily slide across smooth surfaces. Using the zip tie skids you can even take off from pavement, though I don't recommend it with the mapping camera on board. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Join me at flightriot.com.